Hello and welcome. This is Ben Adamson from Veeam Software. I'm going to run through a challenge today to hopefully install Veeam as quickly as we possibly can into a new environment and therefore we can understand what kind of investment time you need to begin a 30-day trial, start a proof of concept in your own environment and start to understand how Veeam can align with your infrastructure to start to give you some really great outcomes in terms of backup, replication, disaster recovery, all those things that we really want to take care of in our environment. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer and we'll begin the installation. So I've just downloaded the installer from the website and uncompressed it into this location. I've also gone ahead and requested a 30-day trial key through the website and that's, that's arrived promptly, so I'm then able to go ahead and, and, and begin the installation. Now you'll see here um, that we're just going to do a next, next, next finish type installation. We're not going to do any customization of the install. That way we'll just see how quickly we can get it up and running and how we are prepared, therefore, to just like begin doing backup straight away. Uh, it's just going to stand up its own little instance of the SQL. And from there, all we need to do is hook into our hypervisors and begin the backup. So let's get the password in there. In terms of the permissions that you'll need for the account to do the install and to run the software, uh, the user guide provides you with some really good detail in terms of what kind of permissions you need both on the machine that you're installing onto and also obviously the systems that you want to back up. So in your VMware and Hyper-V estates, exactly what kind of level of permissions that you would need to be able to hook in there. Now, in terms of your understanding of how the product works, I assume that everyone who's looking at slightly different levels We've got some really great resources in terms of understanding um, what's going on with the product and in terms of how you actually use the product to achieve what you want to achieve. And um, the best form to, as a starting point is often to jump onto our website and have a look at a bunch of our webinars. So if you um, jump onto veeam.com, you can get through there, have a look at our webinars, and you can start to understand you know, exactly what the product set is, how it all fits together. The other thing is that we're starting to get into some increasingly specialized webinars. So you can start to understand particular architectures for a particular purpose, uh, really get into some of the functionality in a deeper way. So I really recommend that you jump into the website, have a look at the webinars, the schedule's there if you are able to catch them live, they're really regular. Otherwise, you can um, look at recorded versions as well if you've got a particular time frame that you want to sit down and have a look at, at some of those webinars. The other thing is that when you're running a proof of concept, uh, as a, a soon to be customer, which is obviously what we consider you to be, you are enabled to use our support mechanisms. So by hooking into cp.beam.com, which is our customer portal, you're able to log tickets, get technical support, uh, work through any issues you might be having with your particular infrastructure, any challenges that you might be experiencing. Um, what we often find is that problems are to do with, you know, problems that might be endemic within the environment. So you might be having a storage issue or a VMware issue or a Hyper-V issue. Um, we're able to provide you with some guidance on that. Obviously, we see so many different environments that, you know, we have a lot of experience, broad cross-section, so we can really help you through that. Uh, also, you might be working through a partner, a partner's doing the installation for you. Obviously, bring any concerns to their attention, they'll know how to leverage support. If you're having trouble finding a suitable partner, reach out to us as well, and we'll be able to help you with that, finding a partner in your area who can, can help you with the, the design, the architecture, and the implementation. Now, this installation seems to be buzzing along pretty well. This machine just has the minimum spec, by the way. So two vCPUs and two gigabytes of RAM is the minimum recommended specification. Uh, and at the moment, we're putting all the components onto this one server. So the Veeam console is getting installed, uh, a reading proxy and a repository, which is like a writing proxy. So all of that's going to be installed on this one machine. And um, obviously, with a fairly minimal type of spec, we're not talking about having to provision a whole lot of resources to get up and running. So this installation looks as though it's getting pretty close to completion. Yep, all done, time check, and three minutes and 45 seconds-ish. So that's not bad at all. We're well under that five minute mark, which is which is fine. So now we just want to jump into the console and understand uh, what we've actually got ourselves into, what we've installed, make sure that that's working properly. And then what we'll do is from there is we'll, um, we'll We'll just run a quick backup and, and, and demonstrate that the backup functionality is working and that we can have a look at the kind of information that you're going to get from a job, the kind of post-job activities that you might do to understand what's going on in your environment and to see if you can optimise that environment a little bit as well. Okay, so here's the console, it's all installed, looking good. Now, if we say we want to create a backup job, it's going to say, okay, whereabouts is your VMware or your Hyper-V environment? Now, um, we're just going to point this at a vCenter, so I'm going to go VMware. 
and I'm going to put in the name of the center and use that same service account. All right, so that's going to pull in um, a bit of information. Uh, sometimes it causes my connection to drop for a second as well, so we might get a bit of a flash of my, my wallpaper if the VDI drops. Um, as it pulls in all of that configuration information into the console. So um, just just waiting for that to complete. That looks pretty good so far. All right, so as we're going out, learning about the virtual infrastructure uh, and pulling all of that information back into the console so that we can then browse around, decide what we want to back up and, uh, pr and provide our backup job details. Uh, with Veeam as well, you can work with VMware and Hyper-V uh, heterogeneously. So you can have both under one console, which is really handy. If you've got a mixed environment, um, you're able to you know, have separate jobs for each of the hypervisors, but within this one console, you can manage all of those jobs and, and it creates a, a nice scenario for you um, if, if you do have that coexistence going on. Okay, so I'm just going to create a quick job. We'll just add it, we'll just back up a single VM for now just to show the functionality, how it all works. Um, I won't make you sit through the whole backup job, we'll, we'll skip across that, but at the end you'll see all the timings, how long everything took, uh, and we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, this is this little machine here, it's just a baby. Uh, we're just going to take all of the defaults, and we'll say run the job. Okay, so I'm going to pause the recording and um, I'll come back to you in a second and we'll, we'll go through exactly what happened with the job. Okay, so that backup's now complete. Um, we can see that we've had a success, which is great. We'll just quickly jump in, have a look at the log. So um, this shows us the kind of time expenditure that we had. So obviously the first backup's always a little bit slower. We're reading all of the box. We're not using change box to do just an incremental. Um, so not too bad, under 10 minutes. Um, this uh, bottleneck analysis is really great. So if you have a look, you can see that where Veeam was waiting. So not only do we give the total time of backup, we'll also tell you where Veeam was waiting or queuing when it was trying to run the backup. So this tells us that the source storage uh, was a major issue, followed by the resourcing on the proxy. So um, there was either a constraint on memory or CPU, but the main issue across here was the source. So we're talking about waiting for that storage. So that's pretty cool. Um, drilling into an individual machine, we can get a time frame on all of the different activities that it took to get that back up. Now, I hope this has been useful. I hope it will help you uh, get that, that uh, push into doing your 30-day trial. If you need to reach out to me, I'm at Ben Beam on Twitter. Uh, I'll put all the details below the video so you can hook into us if you need to. Uh, everyone take care, and I'll speak to you again soon.